Yes, Noor. Can you just tell me what is nine times seven? Nine times seven, Noor. Sixty-four. Again, be louder. Sixty-four. Wrong. It's sixty-three. Okay. Eight times eight is sixty-four. That's what I wanted to revise with. Uh, Majduli, nine times four. Forty-five. Wrong. It's nine times four is thirty-six. Nine times five is forty-five. Please girls, be very, very good at table. Then only we can do math well or else it will take time or it will give you wrong answers. Again, seven times eight for Noor. Seven times eight. Sixty, uh, sixty-four. Seven times eight is fifty-six. Seven times nine, sixty-three. Okay? Yes. Tell me the timetable for four. Four, eight, come on. Four, eight, twelve. Twelve. Twenty. Are you counting? <laughs> four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Anyways, eight. time six. Four. What? what? Time six. Come on, Majduli. 24. 24. 7 times 6. Noor. 42. Uh, 42. Girls, you need to memorize them very, very well. 7 and 8. Tomorrow when I come to my class and I ask you anything about 7 and 8, you need to say me quickly. I know that you can copy, you can say, but this is something for ourselves. I know maybe you can write and say me the answers because the camera is not here. But good, this is for something yourself, okay? If you are very good at timetables, then only you can do your math well. Clear, girls? Okay. Okay, again, let me just say you, listen to me. Seven times six, 42. Seven times seven, 49. Seven times eight, 56. 7 times 9, 63. Come on, say me. 7 times 5 is what? 35. 7 times 6? Yes, 3. 7 times 6? 42. 42. This is what I want the answer to be very prompt, very quickly. 7 times 7? 49. Seven times eight. This seven. I mean, of seven. Welcome, Dana. Welcome, Vikan. We are just revising timetables, and I want you to do it also. Come on. I cannot further start my revision class until you all say me this perfect answer. Zishan? Yes. Do you know seven times six? Yes, I think. Say me but quickly. Eight? I want the answer. Eight? Very quick. Yes, my dear. 48? Wrong. It's 42. Now, Dana, seven times seven? Uh. 36? 7 times 7. When 7 times 6 is 42, 7 times 7 has to be bigger number. 7 times 7 is 49. 7 times 8? Me? Yes, Majdalene. Miss, Miss, I know. Tell me. Miss, I know, I know. Tell me, maybe you're counting. 56. Yes, Zishan, seven times nine. Uh, Noor, you did this mistake. So what is seven times nine? Tell me. Three. Hmm? 
63 very good girls please read them 10 times now i will erase and i will ask you questions don't write it somewhere see this is something for yourself girls not for me if you write and say me the answers it's like your loss learn them now seven times 642 seven times 749 Seven times this and this simultaneously. I want these to be perfect. Eight times six. Eight times six equals forty-eight. Eight times seven is same as seven times eight. Eight times seven is same as seven times eight is fifty-six. And then eight times eight. Eight times eight, uh, eight. This you must know because it's seven four. times seven forty nine. Eight times eight sixty four. Nine times nine eighty one. Eight times nine. What is eight times nine? Who's gonna say me? Eight times nine. Gonna... What is it? Seventy one. Seventy one. Seventy two. Seventy two. I mean seventy two. Seventy two. Okay, girls. So seven times seven. Seventy two. Ah, uh, uh, no. Seven times Zishan. seven is. Uh, Zishan, start from before. Two times two. Two times two is four. Three times three. Times three is uh, nine. Four no. times four. Four times four. Um. Uh, five times five. Uh, Twenty-five. Six times six. Thirty-six. Seven times seven. Um, Forty-nine. Very good. Eight times eight. Uh, I don't see on the screen. Four. Sixty-four. Nine times nine. Uh, Eighty-one. Okay. Everyone knows this. Yes. See, how good are you at tables? Um, I don't know. Division or multiplication if you don't know the timetables. It will take time to solve. And you know that grade 7 are not allowed for calculators. So you need to be good at it. Okay? Others, everyone, please. Tomorrow when I will start my class again, again I'm going to ask you 7 and 8 tables. Okay. okay. 7, 8. You must know, girls. Please okay. try to learn. At least these Seven times eight, seven times nine, eight times seven, eight times six. I want prompt answers, very quick answers. Okay. Okay. Okay, girls. Now okay. Just erase this and again ask, try to ask you. Wait a minute, girls. One. Okay, now, Noor, let me start with you. Seven times six? Uh, Forty-two. Eight times seven? Fifty-six. Seven times four? Seven times four? Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Next, Judy? Yes. Seven times seven? Uh, 49. Eight times six? Eight times six is 48. Eight times nine? Uh, 72. Yes, Zishan. Seven times seven? Seven times seven? Dishan, are you there with me? Uh, 49. 7 times 6. Uh, um, 7 times 6. Um, 42. 8 times 6. Um, 8 times 6. Is, uh, um, 6. Okay, good. So now 6. let us resume to something else. What is your homework today? You will sit 
you will learn timetables of six, seven, and eight. Please, I request, I need okay. quick answers, girls. Then only we can further do anything in math. LCM, if you take least common factor, if you take integers, because we are going to start with grade seven integers, inshallah, by day after tomorrow. So when you are very quick at answering me things, we can understand further things, okay? I know you might be thinking why teacher is doing such a stupid, uh, what do you call it? I'm so sorry to use that word. Uh, why teacher is using such a, such a simple thing what we have learned before. But believe me, if you're good at this, you are good at everything then. Okay? Six, seven, and eight. I want time to develop six, seven, and eight tomorrow. Clear? Okay. Now, I want to start with some basic. Now, when I ask you, we shall three divided by four plus five divided by mm, three. Can you solve this decision for me? This decision is not here. She left. <laughs> okay. She'll come back. Dishan is there actually. I can see her name here. Yeah, but she went to so. Okay. When you don't know the answer, there will be khalas. It's very good at online learning. <laughs> but anyways, even if you don't answer, you're very good girls. I don't uh, what do you call us. I need the bus now. Okay, oh, yes. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Okay, come on, all of you. You have a pen and pencil and a paper with you, right? Yeah. And yeah. It's a very simple question. Yes. Just tell me the answers who have done it. Hmm? Yes? I don't know, but I think. I it's know. okay, I Dana. This is why I want to teach the basics. Yani when, this is not something of grade seven, this is something what we have done before. I want to teach the basics. How will we do it? That's why I'm asking you. First thing, what you see is the denominator. Are the denominators same? No. Okay. Judy, do you know this question, how to solve it? Mm. Just any, any guess. Even if it's wrong, I will say, no problem, dear. No problem, honestly. <laughs> Um, it's okay, Judy. Just try and at least say me. Okay. Um, we. Can I explain you? Okay. okay. So even Noor, Noor bin Mahfuz, you don't know about it? I tried to solve it. Same. You're trying to solve it? Tell me the method. Yeah. How do you do it? Uh, I multiply multiplication? Four, four, times, four times three and three times Okay, cross three. multiplication, okay. Now girls, wait a second. My main thing, what I do is, because I need to take the least common factor, 4 and 3. I need to take the least common factor. If 4 and 3, does it can come in the same table, same timetable? Judy, Dana, do 4 and 3 come in the same timetable? No. No. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to simply multiply it. What is my answer when I multiply 4 times 3? Eight, um, 15, no, um, 16. <laughs> what? Four times three, what is it? Tell me. 12. 12. 12. Okay. 
So what is my least common factor? Remember that LCM, we call it as LCM. What is it? It is 12. What I'm gonna do because I need to join them. I will take the denominator as 12. What will I do? I'll take a denominator as 12. This is my first step. I will see the denominator. If it does not come in the same timetable, I will multiply and write the number here. Is this step clear? Yes. Sure, everyone? Yes. Adana, did you understand? Simple. See, see, Dana, you are just taking the denominator 4 and 3. You are checking it whether it comes in same timetable. 4 and 3 do not come in same timetable. So I'm multiplying it and I get it as 12. I write the 12 in the denominator. Now, my motive, my main intention is to make everything like example. Now this, how can I make this 12? Tell me, how can I make 4 as 12? What should I multiply? I agree. I multiply to make 4 as 12. 4 times what give me 12? 3. 3. Same thing. Same thing you will do. Cross multiplication. You will write here 3. See what I do girls. Be very careful looking at this. I write here 3. And same number what I'm writing in the numerator, I have to write in the denominator. Okay. I first write 12 here and now I have to make the denominator as 12. Only the denominator. You have to make the denominator as 12. 12. So I multiply 4 times what gives me 12? Of course 4 times 3 gives me 12. So I multiply 3. When I multiply any number in the denominator, I have to multiply same in the numerator. So 4 denominator. And 3 times 3 is? 6. Who told me? 9. It's not 3 Nine. plus 3. It is 3 times 3. Okay, now I got this. Now let me check the other side. This plus will be same as plus. Let me put here plus. Let me put here plus. It will be same. Plus will be plus. Now, now what am I going to do to this? This three. Again, what do I have to make it? I have to make this three. What did I say? You The denominator must be? Twelve. Twelve. How will I make this twelve? Simple girls. It will be cross multiplication. Four will multiply four. By three and three will multiply by? I'm sure. Three times? Four. Four. Am I leaving the numerator like that? Three no. Four. No. I am multiplying I'm the same number. Dana, four. see that Dana. I'm multiplying the same number. Okay, Dana, let me why are you moving and joining? I don't know why. Maybe connection. Yes, Dana. Yes, Dana. Look at this. I'm making both the denominator as 12. 4 gives me 12. 3 times 4 gives me 12. So same number I need to multiply in the numerator. So what do you get? 5 times 4, what is it? 20. 5 times 4, 20. Now, you have denominator same, you have 12, now you can add 20 plus 9, that give you 29 divided 29. by 12. This is your answer. But can you further simplify 29 upon 12? Can you further simplify? No. Yeah. This is my answer. Did you understand something or no? Yes. 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 There is one more easiest way, which I will teach you now. Very easy way. Three, and that was one second. Three yes. plus five. Same question, I will teach you in easy way. Four, and plus three more. That is called 
cross multiplication method what is it called cross multiplication yeah. method simple girls you will take the denominator for taking the denominator as 12 i told you you have to take the lcm you have to check if they doesn't come in the same time table you will write 12 in the denominator this you understand yeah now just remember cross multiplication when you any time you multiply the denominator and write here for this method you will do cross multiply come on when i say cross multiplication what is 3 times 3 9 9 9 directly you don't have to do all that plus 5 times 4 20 what is your answer you got as this is called cross 29 and very easy guys 29 by 29 by 12 you got the same answer see up yeah this is the easiest method what our teacher taught us it's called as cross multiplication you take the denominator but when you can do this when both the numbers doesn't come in same time table then only you can do cross multiplication when both the number do not come in same time table what you write 4 times 3 12 and then 3 times 3 times 3 see cross multiplication 9 5 times 4 20 and then you get 29 upon 12 clear yes all right can i give you one question will you solve it on your own and say with us everyone okay first let me know who don't understand zisha did you understand i understand how about majdulin noor i understand okay come on let me give you some question 5 I plus seven and three. They do not come in the same timetable. It's five over seven and eight over three. Five, seven, and three—they do not come in same timetable. So you can go with this cross multiplication method. Now come on, do it. Do it by yourself. Just miss miss i got i got an answer wait a second what are you saying what is the answer uh 71 over 15 my dear how do you get over 15 what do you have to do in the denominator tell me tell me what is my first step my first step is to to write the denominator what is my denominator supposed to be say me is mine right what is my denominator to supposed to be this is it like this Zishan, twenty-one. Excellent. Excellent. This is my answer. This, this is my answer. I sent it for you. I don't care. Mine is right. Very good, Yamaj Delhi. Very good. Yes. 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 I send you in the in the WhatsApp. I send you the answer of mine. Very good. Very good. I am not checking WhatsApp because I'm teaching you. <laughs> Next time I will check Dana. Okay. <laughs> Now. This is the first thing that I need to see the denominator. I need to multiply the denominator, then cross multiply. When I cross multiply, I get fifteen because three times five is fifteen. Then eight times eight times seven is fifty-six. Fifty-six. Yes, eight times seven is fifty-six. Fifteen plus fifty-six equals seventy-one. Over. Very good. Let's get the number. Fifty-six. Yes, I did it right. 
You did the same way? Yes. This is the basic you must know. It's not in grade. But I want you to learn first the basic things. Fifty-six. So what does it give me? It give me seventy-one. What does it give me? Um, seventy-one by over twenty-one. Excellent. Yeah. Seventy-one over twenty-one. Twenty-one. Sir, so sometimes my board is very bad. Please don't mind. My main motive, my main objective. Is that you must understand? That's it. So we're supposed to open the camera. No, 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 no. Not important. It's up to you. When you're showing me something, you don't want to show. You don't want. You want to show me your paper and something. You can do it. Okay. Okay. Now let us do some other question. Sorry. Yeah, eight minutes. I will be ending my meeting, but before that, I want to explain you something once again. Mm. Let me clear the board first. All right. I don't know why it's not coming in. Yeah. Uh, let me give you one more question. Are you all ready? By five over four plus plus three over two five over four. This is something little different. If you want, you can do the same way also. Four plus three over two. Come on, do it, girls. See this question. You need to take least common factor. You don't need to multiply directly four times two. If you do that, you, later you need to simplify. So better, first thing girls, see how I am doing. See how I'm doing. First thing, I will take the least common factor. Four times two girls. Does it come in the same table? Yeah. Yeah, so which one is the bigger number here? Four. Uh, they come in the same timetable. They come in timetable of four. So now, what is the bigger number? It is four. I'll write four in the denominator. I'll write four in the denominator now. Four, now seagulls. What, what, how I do, please look on the board carefully. Four, four, four and four. It's same. So I don't need to change the numerator. I will write directly the same number. I can write here five. Why? Because both the denominators are same. When both the denominators are same, I write the same number as five. Now, plus. Now girls, is the denominator same? No. Two and four, is it same? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Two and four, no. How will I make this four as four? How can I make this two as four? By what? What do I need Multiply to Multiply by two. Multiply Five. by two. This two. is very important. Now, the same number I need to multiply in the numerator also. So now you got four. Two times two, you got four. Perfect. Four. Numerator, three times. Three times what? Six. Yeah, they are answers. So now what is my answer? My answer is 11 upon 11. 
Now, who did not understand? Please let me know. I understood. Who did not understand this question? Let me know. I understand. Zishan, did you get this? I did somehow. I'm somehow, Majdali? Yeah. Once again, listen to my steps. First thing, I check the denominator that are they in the same timetable? Yes. They are in the same timetable. Four and two. Four. Which is the bigger number? Four. Four. I put it down in the denominator. Now, I check. Four times what? Give me four. One. Plus. It's like one is something different. I just write the same numerator as five. Next. I check here the next number as two. How will I get four? What should I do to two? I have to multiply with two to get four. Two times two gives me four. Four. Same number. I must multiply in the numerator. Three times two is six. I got my answer as 11 by four. Now I'm about to finish my class or try if you can do this in three minutes. Maybe you can do. I will give you. Do what? One second, one second. Seven. Do this question. Seven over six. Seven over six. By five over three. Wait. Seven over six. They come in the same timetable. Take the bigger number in the denominator. Um. Majdalene, what will you take in the denominator? Six. Very good, Majdalene. Okay, miss it. Six and uh, six I... is same. Dana, what has it's to be seven. When six and six and six, can, will I change seven? No. I will write the same number as seven. Okay. Now, you need to show me the next step. How will I make this uh, class? We multiply it. by two. Okay, very good. Also, same up. number I multiply by? By two. Oh. Very good. 15 over six. So, this is okay. What is the new Five times two, what does it give you? Ten. Ten. Seventeen over six. What's 17. my answer? Seventeen, 17. Over, six. 17, 17 over six. Seventeen over six. This is the answer. Seventeen over six. 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 Inshallah, um, what kind of questions come in grade seven? Will you be able to do it? Yeah. I wish. I wish you all don't forget. <laughs> so what is your homework tomorrow? You need to learn timetable four. Please. Wait, miss, miss, today I do it and tomorrow I give it to you. Please learn. And everything what we are doing, write on a paper or a book. Please learn. Yeah. Time tables for six, seven, and eight. I will be asking you and I want answers in quick. No cheating. Don't keep a paper in front of you. That's for yourself. The more you know, the better you know the timetable, the more better you can give me results for math. Okay? Okay. Now tell me, girls. Are you able to understand my explanation in math or no? Yes. yes. Are you sure? Yes. Alhamdulillah. We don't have a math teacher. I will be your math teacher, Yudhisha. <laughs> you don't have a math teacher. I am your math teacher and I am your science teacher, okay? Okay. okay. The main, the bottom line is that you must understand what I'm teaching. If you are able to understand, that's more than enough. Okay. Okay. Have a nice day. Continue your next class. Thank you, girls. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.